There now follows a party election broadcast by the Labour Party. What I find so special about London, more than any other city in the world, is the people. You don't need to go anywhere else, the whole world is here. It's the people that bring the drive and the energy. It is just a place where almost anything's going on at any time of night or day. We've got 300 languages spoken in our schools. You've got every faith, people from every nation all living here. But I think it's a real model for the rest of the world, that however diverse and different nations are, they can live side by side as long as they respect each other. If you asked me to define myself, I'd say I'm a Londoner. London isn't equal with New York as an economic power. We service the whole world, so people are coming in and out of London. Everyone needs to be here, and they're doing all their trading and competing. We have more Japanese banks in London than you've got in Tokyo. 25 years ago, there wasn't a single job anywhere here. Now there's 100,000. When Crossrail opens, you've got the capacity for 200,000. 16 billion pounds. We absolutely have to get it right. I am really proud of the reputation London's got, not just the cultural impact we're having, but we're leading the world on climate change. What's really remarkable here is everyone's going to be getting off the Eurostar mm. opposite the nicest little wildlife park yeah. anywhere in central London. Oh, All right, get it. Oh, I'm just on my way to get something to eat. This man has boot. changed my life as a disabled person. And the other thing I like to make is that you use the transport yourself. Cheers, have Cheers. a good day. Bye. Egg sunny side up. Have you got any mushrooms? Thanks very much. The great thing about the Olympics is that no one expected us to win. London. And we've now started on the site for the stadium before the games in Beijing have even begun. It is the best chance the East End has had for 40 years to share in the general prosperity of the rest of London. One of our real problems is just the way the housing market has gone mad. The government has given the mayor's office four billion pounds to spend building affordable homes, and it's a real chance to make an impact on homelessness and overcrowding. I believe we've turned this city around. For instance, there's more police on the streets. I think there's a real feeling of optimism. London's in a very strong position, but you wouldn't have to make too many mistakes, and suddenly London would be in a pretty catastrophic decline. Don't stand up, no. I'm only the mayor, I'm not royalty. This has become a really serious and important job. You've got a budget about £13 billion next year to spend. You need to go it right. If they don't make him mayor, I'm going to go mad. <laughs> The question of who is mayor may even be more important than who's going to run the government. Because so much that the mayor does directly impinges on your daily life. You've really got to ask, can they run an incredibly complex machine? With me, everybody knows what they're getting, it's on the tin. And no one can say at this election it doesn't matter who gets in. It will completely determine what sort of London we have in the future. That was a party election broadcast by the Labour Party.